everyone welcome to this uh, series about uh, mule esb tutorials today i will be showing how to invoke a java method in mule esb since uh, mule has been uh, developed mainly on java and spring there is a strong integration between uh, java and mule so it's a uh, very simple to invoke any java method and there are various uh, ways how we can do it and uh, today i will be focusing mainly on uh, a component which is provided by mule uh, it's called invoke and uh, we will be seeing how to use it and uh, how to uh, call uh, different uh, methods using this invoke component so the component you can easily find by typing invoke so this is the component so what we will be doing uh, is uh, we will be creating one http endpoint and uh, from that endpoint we will be uh, calling different uh, methods in a class and then we will be seeing how it works so before we even we go into creating this flow let's create one java class which we will be invoking so let's uh, start uh, um, okay let's create a class and uh, let's give it a package uh, like com dot um, com dot uh, what should i give it um, let's see mm, demo dot uh, maybe let's call it entry points so why I'm saying it as an entry point because I will be creating one more uh, demo on the same project uh, where I will be using um, and uh, entry point resolvers. So this is the first part of this uh, demo. So let's uh, call it uh, invoke spring sample. So this is nothing special here. So let's. Okay, so we have a class. So let's uh, create uh, three different kind of methods: uh, method A, method B, and method C. So what we will be doing in these methods is uh, so method A will uh, not take any argument. It will uh, be just returning one uh, um, string. Um, so let's <coughs> write it public string method a so just for the sake of seeing whether it uh, works or not um, so we will uh, return return method a and let's see out something so we will write method A of spring bean sample activated. Okay. So let's create another method and let's uh, not return anything from this and let's call it method B. And uh, let me just copy it so that I don't have to type again everything. So we say method B and uh, similarly we create one method public string. If this method will return um, string up out. So method C and this time we will uh, pass some argument to this method. We will take two arguments string input a and uh, string input b. And uh, what I will do is first I will just uh, see out the same thing method c, and what I will return is um, let's say method c got 
let's uh, return the ob uh, arguments which we received and uh, we say input a plus and plus input okay b so so these are the three methods which we will be calling so let's save it so let's go back to this uh, so in our flow if we go to configuration xml and uh, let's give us some room to write okay so what we will do is we will create one spring bean of the java class which we created so if i do spring beans so i will write uh, spring bean and i will give class as uh, my com dot demo dot entry point dot invoke sorry invoke spring sample and i will give it a name so let's name it um let's name it uh, something like uh, mm, let invoke spring sample okay so our uh, object is ready to be called and let's go back to message flow let's drag one http endpoint let's configure this so I'm not going to go through what is HTTP endpoints. I think you all know about that. So let's call it invoke and um, you can leave everything else as empty. So let's let invoke. So once we go into invoke here, you can see it's uh, it can you can give a name an object reference this is the reference of the bean which we created then you can mention the method name which method you want to call and the arguments and the argument types so that's why i created three methods so that we can call it three times and see what exactly happens in each call so i will just um, so it will take some time to write this so i have already written this uh, all so i will just copy this and uh, just to show you like after each invoke I am putting echo so that I get what is my payload going on and what message and the services are activated so I'll just go back here mm. okay so this is my flow I will just do this paste this let me make sure I didn't make any copy paste mistakes okay okay so this is invoke spring sample this is okay my bean name is different from my copy so let's me replace this so here i'm calling method a method b and method c so basically what will happen um, it will just invoke this so if you remember our method a doesn't take any argument so we are not passing anything and method b also is same so it doesn't take any argument we are just checking if we can invoke it and uh, there is no output from this but uh, method a has an output uh, where we are sending back method a and it will become my payload and uh, i will be able to see that uh, in my payload object and then method c uh, we are passing that payload also and uh, then what i am doing uh, in method arguments okay it's better if we sh i show it here okay so here you can see uh, here you can see i have called method c and then i am passing inbound property http query, query params uh, as my arguments so it can take a array of arguments here so you can pass one 
and then you can pass two so it depends on what you how many you have argument and uh, then uh, suppose if it's uh, normally what will happen if it's just a simple type like string or some integer so mule will do that uh, uh, argument uh, resolution and it will uh, give you a type but if it's some complex object like if you want to pass your own object <clears throat> like you have a customer object or something else then you can uh, mention that here like what kind of it's like simple java dot uh, something string if i want to give then i can give here so let's see let's try to run it and see what we get in the console i hope it runs because i did some copy paste so if it doesn't let's debug it okay 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 so it got deployed which is good so now let's uh, I will just make one call and see whether it works or not so uh, as you know I have this uh, endpoint where I have I named it uh, invoke and then I pass argument name and age so let's send it okay hmm what did I name it invoke what is my configuration 8081 and it's invoke right what did I call here okay okay looks like some issue no listener why it's saying no listener mm -hmm. so we ran into one okay sorry I had I was running some other project <laughs> hmm. so we should be more careful so let's run this project okay <clears throat> since I have a few other projects in my workspace so it, it had started some other project okay so so what we learned is we should be more careful when we give demos hmm okay so this time in vocomp okay finally it started so let's see let's call this and yeah you see this is the output from method c we got as a payload converted and this is uh, our query parameters the most important part is uh, this one in in, in your uh, log you can see method a got activated method b got activated method c got activated and then we got um, content from method c and method a changed uh, content uh, after uh, its execution and in method b we didn't uh, return anything it was a void so it stayed our com payload stayed the same so we got method a and uh, then you have uh, method c so you see it's very simple and uh, there is nothing much uh, complicated here so what we I'll just go through it again um, we just created one bean and then we just invoked different methods and we passed uh, different uh, arguments so this is how we just uh, integrate uh, or call our Java methods in mule so oh, sorry okay so I hope you liked it and if you did please subscribe and share your comments if you think something I should improve.